drink for. Okay, this is J.P. Allen from harmonica.com. I've got Joe Felisco on the phone. Are you there, Joe? Yes, sir. I'm here. Okay, Joe, I got, um, I'm got. i working on my laptop, and I've got some tabs up for students so they can see what you're doing here. And where, by the way, where, where am I talking to you from, Joe? I am calling uh, from Joliet, Illinois, part of the Midwest, just south of Chicago. Nice. And I'm calling you from Kauai, which you, I had the honor to have you come visit me here. Yes. When uh, you and Eric and Howard Levy came and we had, I think we had 23 students from four continents. It was a pretty amazing experience for me. It was probably like, like, it felt like my whole harmonica life was leading to that moment of having you guys come out. It was super honor to have you. And I remember it was really funny because I was really nervous meeting you because for me, you were I'd heard about you decades prior to getting to meet you. <laughs> Thank then, you. And then I found it so easy to connect with you. And I imagine a lot of people find that. So if you're a student out there listening to Joe and you ever catch him at spa, um, I feel pretty confident to say that Joe will give you the time of day. That's my motto. That <laughs> is indeed my motto. I, 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 I can take myself very seriously, but when it comes to other folks and hanging out um, um, <laughs> all about just chilling and having a good time. I love it. All right, so so this is part two of our lesson. The last lesson, we had um, a simplified version of this really cool riff. Actually, before we, we get into this, just in case some people didn't listen to our first um, little blog post that we did here, would you be willing to just quickly demonstrate the riff we're about to learn so they know what we're getting into? Yes. Okay. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Nice. I'll go through the notes so everyone understands. When you see a negative sign, it means draw. When you see parentheses like this, it means play both these notes at the same time. So this would be one, two, draw. Okay, that indicates draw and you play one, two at the same time. When there's nothing there, that's a two blow. This is one, two blow at the same time. One draw, one, two draw at the same time. Two blow, one, two blow at the same time. And so that's where we left off last time. So if you didn't, if you didn't hear our last lesson, you might want to start with that. But now we're going to take this to the next level, and we're going to change this one, two, blow into one, two, draws. So you're going to have to go from that two, blow to one, two, draw at the same time. So it's a little trickier. So maybe, would it be okay? Okay, first we should probably tell people, what key harmonica do you got there, Joe, and, and what harmonica are you playing with? <laughs> I am playing a Honer crossover marine band with the letter C stamped on it. <laughs> and I'm playing a, a Honer Special 20 with the letter C stamped on it. Could you, um, so if you'd like to learn this with Joe, definitely go get your C harmonica, get ready to jam along. Um, can you demo it real slow for them? I'll be the bouncing ball, and then uh, we'll ask people to play along with you. Does that sound good? You betcha. All right, so here's a demonstration whenever you're ready. Yep, moderately slow. One and two, uh, three and a four and a... Nice. Yes. Cool. And just for the heck of it, I'll give people a quick rundown uh of the notes in this particular it's, well basically everything's the same other than we have one two draw here at the same time and one two draw at the same time other than that it's two draw two blow one draw two blow and then in between all the single notes you're going to be chording on one two draw at the same time so it's a little bit of a tricky move here because you got to go from two blow and then jump over to one two draw 
right? So do you have any advice for people before they give this a go with you, Joe? Practice it slow. That's the best thing. Start out doing it real slow, and if you really want to get your maximum money's worth out of your practice time, then I really encourage people to try to practice with a metronome or some sort of jam track that gives them some rhythmic accountability. Right. Yeah. It, one of the things I, a lot of times with my students, I, I say play it slow and they don't play it slow enough. And then I say play it slower and they still don't play it slow enough. Right. And so have you found the same thing? <laughs> Oh, absolutely, yes. Uh, definitely people want to, you know, run off to the races. I, I suspect they, they don't, they think the mistakes and shortcomings won't be as obvious if they play through them fast. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just so, it's just like anything else, it, you know, if you take the time, if you're willing to be patient and play super slow in the beginning and you wire in those psychomotor skills, you'll find that actually learn faster. You learn to play faster with less mistakes um, in less intervals of practice, I found. And so, so you'll give them, I guess, an opportunity right now to demonstrate what it means to play practice super duper slow, like practically as slow as you can manage to hold the rhythm together. That's kind of the way I think of it, you know, because if you go so slow, you, ca you can't even feel the beat anymore. You know, our heartbeat is at, at, you know, resting at 60. And I find that when you slip under 40, too far away from our, our heartbeat, I don't know if it has to do with the heartbeat or not, but that's the way I think about it. When we get too far around, away from that natural beat that we have thumping inside of us all the time, then we can't track it very well. So. Good theory. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah, I think you could be onto something there. <laughs> all right. Okay, so you got your C harmonica. Get yes, ready sir. to play along with Joe. And if you don't have your C harmonica, listening isn't going to get you there right now. Um, definitely go get your C harmonica and play with him. It's going to make all the difference. Okay, buddy. Here we go. Real slow. One and a two and a three and four and. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that was nice. That was that was that was getting to as close to as slow as I could bear, which is what I'm encouraging you who are playing along with Joe to do when you're practicing on your own. The other thing you might want to do is you might want to mark the video time code because you might want to come back to practicing with Joe on tomorrow or the next day and just practice this one little section over and over again with him. That could be a lot of fun. You want to give them a little faster one, Joe, to play with you so that maybe they could also come back in a week or two and see if they could keep up with a, a still slow but more moderately slow tempo? Yes. All you right. Betcha. Here we go. Cool. One, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four, and... Yeah. Cool. Love it. Thank you. I, I would like to also encourage people to keep in mind that if they find that the chord is not quite coming out clearly enough, uh -huh. believe it or not, in this style of music, in this style of blues, it's better that the chord is on the quiet side as opposed to the loud side because uh -huh. we don't want it to turn it into something else. So error on the chord to have it be very uh, breathy
creepy and uh, ghost-like. Yeah. I noticed that right away when you were doing it. I like that about the way you're doing it, too. Thank you. It emphasizes that the lead that's happening and, and the rhythm sort of underneath holding it up. Cool. So that, that's great. So there was one other lesson I was hoping to pry out of you, but I think we should close this lesson, if that's all right, uh -huh. and come back for one final lesson uh, and a follow-up for people. Would that be all right, Joe? So, yes, sir. Because, that okay, would be great. I'll tell people what it is so they can look forward to, to getting this in an upcoming uh, video. Um, it's... It's playing lead around a rhythm like this. And two and three. And two and three. And the lead would be something like this. So in a previous blog, I promised people I would teach them that. So we're going to do that in the next blog video coming, uh, coming soon. Okay. So and then we'll get what I want to do with you, Joe. Is I wanted, I didn't want to just teach people that lick my way. I wanted to teach the lick and then have you chime in. Um, anything you would do to embellish it? Does that sound like something you'd enjoy doing? That would be fine with me. Okay. Cool. Okay. Come back, everyone. We got some more fun lessons for you coming soon. Thanks a lot, Joe. Thanks, folks. Thank you very much. Aloha. Bye. Bye-bye.